grandmother's family first came to this area from, from Liberty Hill. Originally, they were from Tennessee. They brought her as a very young child down to this area, from what I understand, in a covered wagon. And they even, I mean, in those days, you had to cross the, the Nueces Bay in wagons, too, during low tide. But, um, yes, then they moved down here and lived in the small town of Gregory, Texas, which was the headquarters for the Taft Ranch, which evolved out of the Coleman Fulton Pasture Company. Um, and throughout all of my dealings with the farming, I guess I felt a solidarity with my husband's, or late husband's um, grandmother, just because of the love of the land and just we, we were bonded in that we loved the land. We liked being out in the land. We liked being part of it. Hers probably was more out of necessity because she lost her, her husband during the Depression. But family and land go together. But I think it was the land that really bonded us. It probably was, became a matter of me taking her to the fields during harvest. My time wasn't always free because I, I am an educator, was an educator at the time, and so I was more involved in the farming during my free time and then harvest time. And so it'd be taking her out to review the fields or look at the fields and see the progress of the crops. As with a lot of elderly people, we hear stories about, about what they did to survive, whether it's making sandwiches for the field hens out in the fields, or um, actually picking the cotton themselves, and hearing about the changes in machinery and equipment. Um, I used to, oh, I don't know how I did it. I used to go from the beginning of the school year, teachers' meetings, first days of school, straight from my job to the fields to then assist with my husband while he did other things be it going to the gin or following up, but, but life is very intense during harvest time, and I recognize that. I, don't, I think sometimes I live two lives. I don't think the educators I was around knew what I was doing with my outside school time, and perhaps the farmers didn't know what I was doing in my world of education either. And to this day, I don't think people know what all, I guess, farming women, farming wives, widows do. I personally didn't think it was difficult. It's what I knew I could do. It wasn't just having to. I knew I could do it. But I think it was probably more difficult for people that I went to for information and getting questions answered and understanding because first... They were probably grieving my husband's death as well as his, his friends and co-farmers. I mean, I literally had his farming friends sobbing in my arms after his death, co-farmers. 